Hey everybody, Neil McNeil here, and today I'm joined by a fellow Geek and Sundry vlogger, Dale. Hey. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> what a lovely greeting. <laughs> Dale and I are both really big nerds, and we've decided that we want to mash up some of our- I just made a scissoring motion. Mash up some of our favorite fandoms and challenge each other to kind of come up with different scenarios, as if maybe the Harry Potter character is going to Doctor Who, or maybe the Buffy character is going to Veronica Mars, so... We're gonna challenge each other, we're gonna do one video on my channel and one over on Dale's, and we're gonna see how these responses line up. And it's gonna be beautiful. The Doctor, Rose, Donna, Amy, Clara, and the Master. I cut Martha because she's useless. I agree! <laughs> Both dead to me. <laughs> so the Doctor... Yes. All-knowing, science-y, he's got all this stuff behind him, I reckon he's... A headmaster Dumbledore figure. Yep, that's what I he's, said. Ooh, who's Donna gonna be? She's almost... I, it's not just because she's a redhead, mm -hmm. but I feel like she's feisty, she's, you know, got this this running thing with being from a lower class background. Okay. I reckon she's gonna be the Ron Weasley of oh, the world. Who'd you ever ask? I put her down as Harry because she has to make the most sacrifice to save the world at the end of the day. True. Well, if she was gonna be a Weasley, I would say she's Ginny. <gasps> that could work. What about Rose? Where do you think she's going? Ooh. She's Weasley-ish as well, but I don't think she quite makes it into being a Weasley. No. She's more likely to be... Is. I'm leaning towards Harry. Okay. Which is a little bit strange. Yeah. But I feel like she's got the same sort of confidence and like, she was the first important companion of the new series. I could see that. That's why I consider her like Hermione, like this all-knowing, like sassy girl. Cause she is Bad Wolf and she like knows everything That's about the true. universe. And every appearance after season two, she She's... has been the intelligent one who yep. knows everything that's going on. She's made the most impact. Mm, I can see true. that. It's so true. <laughs> Amy, Amelia Pond, where is she going? <gasps> oh my gosh, but now what am I gonna do? Because, <laughs> oh no, why is everyone a Weasley? <laughs> but she'd be like... Fred and George almost. Oh, because she's like kind of a trickster? Yeah. yeah I think I would have gone with Ron though. Okay, yeah, I can, I can agree with that. Yeah, and what about Clara? I'm tempted to go with either Neville or Luna. Ooh, she's definitely Luna. And I think the last one's gonna be kind of obvious with the Master. I mean, he could be Voldemort. He could. Or he could be like one of the Malfoys. Ooh, and what if he's Lucius Malfoy? He could be Lucius Malfoy. Spider-Man slash Peter Parker, Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, Harry Osborn, Aunt May, and J. Jonah Jameson. Peter, yes. first. Probably Ross, just because Ross is, you know, the paleontologist, scientist. he's the guy with the academic background. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Would she be the Rachel? Ooh, I don't know though. I think I like Gwen Stacy a bit more than Mary Jane. Okay. And I like Rachel the most out oh, of the Friends women. This is where we're gonna disagree. I think but Rachel's the least likable at first. Really? Oh, yeah. well, well you no, have she's to grow the least likable at first. Yeah, and that's what MJ is. You're yeah. supposed to hate her at first because she's okay. a superficial bimbo. Yeah, no, that's fair. Who Plus, I'm not basing mine on actual personality at <laughs> the moment. I'm just going, but I want these two to get together. Well, I think Gwen would be a good Phoebe. Cause remember she and Ross had that thing before anything happened with Rachel? Yeah. Yeah, the flashback episode. Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> I'm a really big Friends fan. I had the board game and I knew all the trivia questions. I think I've been swayed by your argument. I think MJ's Rachel. <laughs> I didn't mean to sway you. <laughs> Which means that Gwen has to be Phoebe yeah. because you can't make Gwen Stacy Monica because exactly. then it's just gonna get really awkward. Yeah. What about Harry Osborn? Where would he go? I feel like this might be a Bad thing to say, but Joey. Joey, definitely He's Joey. <laughs> just a bit of an idiot. Yeah, and kind and of a so many incarnations. Bit of a just, tool too. Just why, Harry? Why? Aunt May, who would she be? Well, I think she would. Oh, but then she would be Phoebe. No, I think she would be Monica. Really? Because she's related to Peter. More of like a motherly, maternal I always feel. think of Aunt May as a total kook. Monica's a kook too, but like in her own special way. That's true, in a in a OCD. anal retentive way. You keep swaying me on this I have one. a lot of feelings about friends and a lot of feelings about <laughs> Spider-Man. You know the things and I am just going with what you say. I try to make an argument, but nope, yours are always better. All right, so then that means that J. Jonah Jameson would be Chandler. Would be Chandler. Well, because and I think that fits. Buffy, Willow, Xander, Giles, Cordelia, and Dawn. For starters, I reckon Willow would be um, probably Kitty Pride. Oh. 
because you got that computer skill thing going on in Ooh, the background there. Yeah. You Hello. just swayed me. Yeah. There you just swayed me. Say? I had her as Jean Grey because she's a fiery redhead who goes evil. That's very true, actually. Ooh, actually, this is a toss up. Ooh. I think she's both. She could be both. Well, where would Buffy go? Buffy. I actually think that she would make a fantastic rogue. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, she's got that super strength going on. Just gonna punch out some bad guys. That'd be sweet. You see, I'm gonna gender bend it and say that she's gonna be a good Cyclops because she's a leader. Xander, who would he be? Xander. Ooh, I'm gonna base my answer off the current comics. Okay. But you tell me what you think. The amalgamation of different Icemans oh, in okay. my brain into one Ooh, Iceman yeah. kind of comes out a bit Xander-ish. I was thinking that Xander would be a good Wolverine. Because in the comics now, he's like the leader of, or he at least was, he was a watcher and the leader of like a big Slayer Brigade, so yeah. he could be a good Wolverine. He could be his own team leader who like has that a different skill cool. set than Buffy. Yeah, and the one who wasn't meant to be the main character, but yeah. then slowly Kinda, became, like, became more, more popular. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can see that working. Giles, I think this is his unanimous. Xavier, right? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Cordelia, who would she be? I know that's really throwing it back to the early seasons, but... Emma Frost. Yes. And finally, Dawn. Who would she be? Dawn. This is another weird one. Yeah. Dawn could be one of the cuckoos. Okay, I could see that because she's like artificial. She was yeah. created. I think Dawn could possibly be a Jean Greyish kind of character. She's not like she didn't get to that level ever during the show, but she had the power to That's like potentially true. destroy the and world. And like a young Jean Grey. Yeah, a very like young in Jean Grey. Day when she doesn't know what's happening or like has to control any of her Jean powers. Um, yeah, I, I actually that would be a good one. I'd like that one. All right, that wraps it up for my three geek mashup crossover character things. Technical term. To see Dale's three pop over to her channel, she's gonna ask me three fandoms that I would like to mash up and who I would put in what roles, so go check her out. Be sure to subscribe to Dale, she's awesome. She's one of the other Geek and Sundry vloggers and she talks all about mythology. And if any of you have come here from my channel, you should subscribe to Neil because he does amazing videos every day of the week. I don't know why I do it. I don't know how you do it. I'm still figuring that out. Catch you later, nerds. I'm so happy that I know this about you now. <laughs> I'm a really, That's amazing. I, I geek out about friends. That's amazing. I have, I have a very good friend who, who would love to meet you and talk you real. <laughs>